It's a cute little carnivore looking for chickens to eat. Oh, he's like, he's like spotted. Oh my god, it's like a little cat. It's like a little hyena. He's climbing on our stuff. Behind me is gonna be the location for the fire pit outdoor cooking area, an overall spirit, uplifting, energizing area. Fire is so important for health, especially if you're hiking, camping, uh, or living off grid, in my opinion. So let's go find some boulders. You guys who are new to my channel, I love rocks, boulders. And you guys who have followed me for some time, you saw me uh, build from scratch this incredible like over 10,000 gallon fish pond in my old garden with a stream and waterfall and koi fish and I rescued all the koi fish from people who couldn't house them anymore. They were rescue fish. And uh, I had to scrounge up rocks and boulders for that koi pond for two years. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> These boulders are just all over the property. I mean, there's 50 year old logging roads that go through the property and trees grown all around them. And the logging roads are made up of these boulders. And these are the nicest rocks and boulders I've ever seen. And they're just here. I mean, I love them. I can't wait to build with them. And uh, I'm gonna lay them all out in a pile so I can choose some feature guys and build this thing right. finished product for the time being. What do you guys think? Kind of camouflages into the natural terrain there. Let me uh, put the camera up, take you guys for a closer look and show you um, how and why I built it the way I did. So Nicole's back there getting ready. We got the grill and spirit bear van all tucked on our driveway here. And the rocks are everywhere, but particularly they make up the driveway. That's like 50 year old logging road from back in the day. and just use those rocks so it's kind of like a pond with no liner this part out here is going to be the main fire where we can stay warm and grill some stuff on skewers and tell ghost stories and whatever we're going to do but then i built this little like keyhole strip here we got some really nice feature rocks here some flat rocks that we can set our pots tea 
and cooking items down on these flat rocks and we can kind of rake the coals from the main part over here kind of scoot the coals into this keyhole part this little strip this little lagoon we can have our cast iron grill across these rocks we can have our cast iron skillets and our teapot of course i'm real nervous about all the sticks and all the wood and all the shrubbery all around i'm always nervous about fires but it's winter time still. Spring hasn't even started yet and the chance of fire is virtually nothing because everything is soaking wet. So the cast iron skillet can now go right on the coals that we're gonna have here on the ground. Then when I'm ready for it just to warm, I can sit on that rock. I can sit on that rock. I can sit on that rock. And this one's cool because I can actually like scoot it into the fire and have this half of the cast iron skillet warming and cooking and this half just kind of hanging out. I can, nice slow heat going on. When Nicole and I were woofing in Portugal, Spain, and France, the common theme we heard from all the different farmers we talked to and lived with was everybody had a story about a forest fire at some point in their life. So we want to be conscious of that and we want to build our outdoor cooking areas with safe fire practices in mind. So as the summer hits and it gets a little drier out here, we may have to move this, we may have to clear a bunch of this area to make sure that we don't have all this uh, kindling all around. But for now, it's going to be perfect. And let's go get some firewood. We've got a neighbor locally that uh, came over and said, hey, I got some extra firewood. If um, you guys are just starting out and you're freezing, I got so much, I don't know what to do with it. So we're gonna get some dry wood from this neighbor and uh, come over here and start the first fire. We did it. First fire started. I think it's a pretty cool fire pit. Thanks to our uh, new neighbors. Um, it's a couple we haven't met yet, but they just told me that the guy's name is John. They're only coming here in the summertime. They live somewhere else in the winter, but they had three humongous piles of firewood totally stored up. And uh, they phoned in and said, tell the new guys if they don't have a place to stay yet, they're just on the raw land. <laughs> have them take some more dry firewood. So thanks, John. Uh, thanks so much. Let's cook something up here in the uh, in the fire pit. All right, cast iron Dutch oven from Lodge. Not sponsored by them. Just uh, found these guys on Amazon and uh, great deal. Good products. Looked up a lot of their uh, how I make it videos on YouTube and it looks pretty good. It's the size 12. It's really cool. It's got like little feet down below so we can put it down in the fire pit, stand up off the ground, kind of anchor itself in. It's got a little bit of a, a handle there. I'm going to do a little bit of a soup stew base today, starting with the rest of those lion's mane mushrooms from my friends in uh, Phoenix, Sun Valley Harvest. It's going to be a stew. So these are some of the ingredients. Bok choy, carrots, potatoes, onions, lentils. In the bottom, the whole bottom is lion's mane mushroom for that meatiness. And then we just I put water and spices in there and then drop this in the fire. Awesome. It's got mm -hmm. feet. <laughs> That's cool. <sighs> oh, I can't wait for dinner. We've got like six hours. <laughs> no, no, it's gonna be quick. It's gonna be. No, but it's like noon right now. So. Oh, but I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, got a community self warming part, self warming part, like a warming part, and then it kind of funnels over into a cooking part and as the fire rages over here, I'll rake the coals over into this little keyhole, her eye. And then I can put the cast iron um, skillets and pots and Dutch oven and stuff inside the coals and cook with this without using any propane or anything. Awesome. It looks really good. Do you want to see my first meal that I'm going to put in there? Yes, ah. of course. Maybe like lotus position or crisscross or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'd have to take my boots off. But no, this is really nice. And once it like really fills up with coals, then this will be like a perfect spot, especially for my toesies. Yeah, for sure.
This dude's gonna have red lentils, bok choy, onions, potatoes, carrots, like tomato, diced tomatoes, tomato paste, some garlic, and all that lion's mane mushroom is all down below. Putting in some uh, water in there and all my spices, and let's go on the fire. My first ever meal, Dutch oven style, cast iron, with a real fire, it even looks, the tea. It looks good and warm. Good. Because mm. the camera can't pick up that it's cold air. Yeah, but it's steaming like crazy. Mmm, I could smell it. It smells good. Thank you. 